Welcome to the CMOS Farming Training Video. In this video, we will learn about post-harvest handling, storage practices, and techniques. Now that your CMOS has been placed on racks in your bleaching or drying area, ensure to remove any bits of rubbish mixed in or any animals or other plants as these will reduce the quality of your dried CMOS. If necessary, the CMOS can also be rinsed with clean seawater to help remove some of the foreign matter, especially sand particles. Note that bleaching naturally occurs when the CMOS is enclosed in clear plastic bags and heat from the sun gets trapped inside of the bag. This heat will denature the substance that gives the CMOS its natural brown or green color. During that process, some of the CMOS may have to be turned over to allow for the bleaching to be uniform. Depending on the amount of heat in the bag, the bleaching process can be completed in one to two days. Once the bleaching process is completed, the CMOS is then placed on the drying rack to sun dry. As with bleaching, during the drying process, the CMOS may have to be turned over to allow for uniform and adequate drying. Ensure that the bleaching and drying tables or racks are elevated at least two feet off the ground to prevent access to pets and wild animals such as rodents, etc. Also, ensure to create a covering to protect the CMOS from rainfall and animals, especially at nights. In a sunny, well-ventilated area, it will take about two to three days for the CMOS to dry. It is best if the CMOS dries with about 30% moisture remaining. At this point, it should be pliable and not overly brittle to the touch. The CMOS can be dried directly in the sun, on the racks, or in an enclosed structure that will generate heat and allow adequate air to flow strategically through it. After the CMOS is satisfactorily dried, salt crystals will form on the outside. These can be removed by shaking the CMOS. It is now ready for sale. Please note, if the CMOS is not bleached and placed in the shade to dry, it may have a purple color. However, bleached CMOS, once dry, will be brown to light brown depending on the intensity of natural color of the CMOS. After drying, CMOS should be stored in cool areas where they will not get wet. Crocus bags, such as those that were used to store flour or sugar, can be recycled for the storage of CMOS. Bags should also be stored off the ground and in a secure area. To improve the quality of the gel, ensure that the CMOS is harvested when it is fully mature or grown, and do not over bleach or over dry the CMOS. Harvesting immature CMOS, over bleaching or over drying can lower the gel content and quality. The same applies for the conversion quality from wet to dry. To improve the conversion rate, harvest mature plants and do not over bleach or over dry the sea moss. <music>